Yo, what's up guys? Today we're up on Black Hole Mountain. Chris and I, we're doing a little bit of an adventure here through the trees. Last night we got a significant snowfall, which has really filled in all these tree areas. So we're going through this for the first time this season. I'm riding the LibTech Orca. Chris is on his LibTech T-Rice Pro. And we're just gonna try to find the best tree lines of the day. Yeah, it's pretty steep, Chris, but you gotta come through here a few turns. So hopefully Chris pops out of this. Chris, doggy, how's that run? Yeah, it was short, but extra sweet. That was, it was short and sweet. It was, that was like the deepest tree powder of the season. It was, yeah, for me too. <laughs> Chris, doggy dog, you want to tell the people while we're hiking and we're not taking a lift? Black Home is having a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> the main lift is closed. All the upper lifts are closed. Some are working. The lift lines are huge. Yeah. They're massive. I meant it'd be easier to get into a Star Wars movie. Well, that's not saying much nowadays. Yeah, guys, we started our day basically waiting in line for maybe two hours. So instead of getting back into those same lines, we're just doing a short hike. And you can really tell that everyone is stuck either in a line or on the chair because there's nobody here. It's weird. Nobody's around, nobody's riding these runs. I'm here. So we're just gonna try to make the most of the one run that we do have. We're gonna hike up this road a little bit and drop into some trees where I'm sure there'll be some more good snow. I think yeah. the, uh, the bonus of hiking is that we're actually gaining altitude faster than the people in line. True. <laughs> Keeps the blood going and the fact, yeah, I just love the fact that over there, it did feel packed, just people everywhere. And then you come out here and it feels like the mountain's empty. Honestly though, I feel like hiking is so much fun. I love just like being out here. The fact that nobody's around, this kind of makes me want to move to like a small, quiet mountain resort in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Take me there. Chris is going to hit a little rock popper dropper down here. I got my heart going. <laughs> Gotta go in there. <laughs> All right guys, so we got the peak to peak up here and we got the peak to peak tree run underneath us. So they actually dug this out when they lifted up the peak to peak cables and it kind of made a natural gladed run through here. So. It's a bit iffy, but we can see that some other people have done it earlier today. What do you think, man? Well, this first bit looks sketchier than an old guy's bottom, but after that, it looks like it opens up and it actually looks way more mellow and nice. All right, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much for spotting that line for me. That was great. <laughs> I really exposed that log from the start. You helped me with that log. That was fun. I said I dropped off that log and just sank and stopped. Nice. Which was soft. So I think down here we maybe have the best run on either mountain. What do you think? It's up there. It's yeah. up there. This looks good. It basically, even though this technically isn't a gladed run, it from the spacing of the trees and everything, it is yeah. a gladed run. So guys, Chris and I, we've been down this run many times, so we know where it goes. We know about what the conditions should be like. I feel like the first, like two thirds of this run are like just really good because it's pretty mellow, but then it starts to get a bit steeper and there's more logs further down. So that's where we may have to walk out of it. 
but I think the first part will be really good powder snow. Looks glorious. It's an open field of powder goodness. Yeah, let's get it, doggy. <laughs> coaster through there. See what it's wet wedge there? Uh, I think I should just take it off. Take your time. Okay. It's really wedged. Okay. Hi. Hi. So guys we've been taking our time going through here but it's been super fun. I love just being out here having the trees, the snow, this crazy gondola cable above us. Yeah, it's just pretty amazing being up on a, on a mountain like this. This is what I love to do when I'm out snowboarding. And I t believe you me, when we were like 45 minutes into just waiting for one line, all my hope was almost gone. It was holding on by a thread, but this has just brought it all back. Woo! <laughs> Check out that valley, that looks pretty cool. Chris, what happens if we just keep riding all the way down to the valley? Yeah, so it's, some of it is similar to this, what we're doing now, but then other bits, it's super steep. Huge amounts of deadfalls, trees lying all over the runs. If you get down to the valley, you gotta basically hike back to town, back to Worcester Village. Yeah, I think you can ski out part of it, but you're hiking other parts too, and it takes a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got a full <laughs> horn on my head. Kevin told me about this thing. I thought it was just like a little bump. But I saw it in his goggles and it's a full blown horn. That's a sign. Your, your spirit animal is a unicorn. Look at rhino? Or a rhino. I'd go rhino. Wow. <laughs> I'm the national animal of Scotland. <laughs> Dude, they should design helmets like this. It looks good. <laughs> like an attachment at least. People would be like, okay, gotta buy my sandbox helmet, and then my Rurock helmet, and then my horn helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, man. Yes! I think what saved the day for us today was, first of all, just getting up here. I was a bit reluctant to come up. It was raining in the village, but once we got through all those lines to the top of the mountain, it really paid off. We found the goods. I feel like this was one of my best days yet of the season. What do you think saved the day today? Was actually waiting it through to get on the lifts because yeah. there was a, the lift lines were huge. They were, but once we got up here. Dude, it's glorious. <laughs> like we haven't seen a single person on this area all day. Yep. Yeah, as soon as we came out into this area, it was just empty. It was great. Yeah, how was that first pillow? Would you say that's your first true pillow drop of the season? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It, it was smooth, smooth takeoff, smooth landing. Worked out well, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Someone's shining down on me. And coming down here too, it's like most of it is covered. So lots of fun little drops, little pillows, and yeah, no, lots of soft lines. Normally this would be flatter, like there would be less bumps sticking out. So it, it's soft, but there's just more bumps around. Yeah, which actually makes it pretty fun. It does, yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> Really fun day today, guys. I hope you guys are getting some good snow where you are. If you have any powder day stories, let us know about it down in the comments. Also here in Whistler, we're getting a cold snap combined with snow. Some minus 30 days coming up. So some interesting videos coming soon. Minus 30? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't yet, subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Subscribe over to Chris's channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun with this snowboarding. We'll see you guys soon. See ya from Mr. Hornman. 
Oh. <laughs> Rigi! <laughs>